Hey guys, and welcome back to Skies of Arcadia. When we last left off, we were making our way to uh, Solstice to try and catch the two wrongdoers. Let's continue, shall we? Now, what can we find out and about in here? I think that's where we came in. We also need to find our last two chams. It is. And I don't think the two chams are out here. Also, technically, I'm not sure if we're on or in Solstice yet. So we have a ladder which we can get out of here with up here. I'm not sure what that in the middle is. Let's try the ladder. See what happens. Oh, that leads us... Oh! Leads us to some kind of command module thing. I'm not seeing any... thing else. Okay, well, let's go fiddle with that and see what happens. Ooh, we're going underground. Spoopy. Wow, we're going deep, deep underground. Hope the gang's all here. Alright, let's go. Ooh, we have a save. I'm going to put a safety save down. And when I mean safety save, I actually mean safety save. We're going to put it on slot B. Uh, my concern is accidentally triggering the end of the game <laughs> before we've done the last two hidden things. And I don't think we're really any danger of doing that. But just to be safe. Oh. Well, this is fancy. This looks really fancy. Shiny and fancy. Now, I'll soon know if we indeed have missed the cham. Um, so is there a cham here somewhere? not looking like it to be honest see my notes say it's halfway down oops so this is found in the first part of the shiny looking area it is located the center of the path about halfway to the other side it's very hard to miss this one because there's almost no way not to notice it well, I guess we're not here yet then. This looks very fancy. So I'm guessing um, this isn't technically the uh, Saltus dungeon yet. Question mark. <coughs> This is amazing. Ooh, yeah, that looks fancy. <laughs> so you've made it this far. 
Gaussian Ramrez. I mean, I don't know who exactly we thought we'd be finding, but yes, it is them. And my guide has disappeared. It does that sometimes. Ugh, damn tablet. Well, we'll figure that out. Why is that? Phase, that sphere, is the silver Gygas, Zilios. What? That's the Gygas? Uh-oh, are we going to have to fight that thing? Phase, look. The moon crystals. They're using the moon crystals to break the seal. <laughs> Once Zelios is freed, I shall control the greatest weapon of all time. I'll be able to cool down the reins of destruction at will. And then my reign shall begin. The six moons shall obey my commands. You may live long enough to see it. Then again, you may not. Ooh. The hell is that? Oh. Looks like we've got a beastie new beast machine to try and take out. What is this? Hey, we fought a machine that looks similar to this before, haven't we? Now, if I remember correctly, and I'm pretty sure I do remember correctly, um, we have to use yellow magic. Yellow magic? is the polar opposite so I've got the PDF of um, the guide for this game up and what's really annoying is every time I change a tab on my tablet I'm pretty sure it's yellow we're gonna go just hit it hard. Every time I change a mm, tab on my tablet, it closes, which is annoying. That's why I've got two tablets. Uh, right, attack. Fina, uh, you know what? Even you, Fina, even you. I guess you can attack too. Pretty much useless at everything else. Yeah, not really sure. Yeah, switch to yeah, switch to level. Switch your weapons to yellow because he's silver. Makes sense. Okay, I don't think he's going to be much of a threat. Just saying. Interesting metallic beast. I think uh, we'll just keep going as we're going. Yeah, special move. Um, hit him up with another one of those. Everybody else can just attack as normal. Shame Enrique's not here, because if Enrique was here, we'd use Justice Shield as well. Just to take that bit of edge off. Wow, this guy's going down easy. Very easy. It's barely even doing any damage. I mean, he might be able to hurt Gilda. Because Gilda is kind of still a concern. Ooh, nasty. Oh, no. Didn't realize that was going to be a thing. Well, you know what? Um... I guess just go for Pirate's Wrath and I suppose completely res yeah cures all adverse effects yeah just hit us up with one of them everyone else just attack as normal <clears throat> should be coming out of this with a decent health completely healed And that should be the end of him. Yeah, 
I mean, we are over leveled for this, but that's fine. Right, level 83. Wow. Oh, of course, Gilda even needs XP. <laughs> Damn. I miss Enrique. Huh, very good. You would have only disappointed me if you died. But you're too late. God, oh, that's so cool. It's so Dreamcast era. I love it. Almost has a Power Stone look about it. That's bad. He broke the seal. Zelios, I am your master. Raise the lost continent of Solstice. From this day forth, Solstice shall be my castle. Farewell, uh, pirates. This place shall become your grave. Oh, I don't think so. So I think Zelios is kind of a giant computer. Vase, we've got to hurry. Zelos is raising Solstice. We have to get back to Danguru Island. Yeah. Uh, today, Vase. We can't stay here, Vase. Hurry. Damn, we were so close. Alright, everyone. Go back to Tangro Island. Yeah, I think everybody's already made that decision phase. Just like... <laughs> last lagging behind there, brother. Oh, right, let's go. So this is like the beginning of the end of the game, basically, because once this island rises, from what I can understand, it changes a lot. For instance, there's loads of chests and things that we now cannot go back and get. But we've already got them, so it doesn't matter. <clears throat> yeah, it does a lot of stuff to the actual world map from what I can understand. Whether that's physically or just um, from a gameplay perspective. I'm not sure. But there is a huge list in my guide of all the stuff we now can't go back and do. Which are locked out for the game forever. Which is interesting. So having a big game like this and having, um, you know, progress. That's one thing that, that I'm not a huge fan of. When you're playing, I mean, we've played this for 86 hours. Um, admittedly, probably could have done it in half that if I knew what I was doing. Uh, and wasn't essentially kind of playing it blind with a healthy dose of help. Um, yeah, it, I mean, it's pretty frustrating to say you get to, you know, 90 hours in on something and realise that you're at a point where you can't go back and complete some of the side stuff. It's really uh, frustrating game design. Because for me, and I know everyone's different, but for me, this isn't the sort of game that I would replay, like, every year. This is the sort of game that I would replay, well, at my current track record of nearly once every 20 years. Having said that, if this game did come out um, in a nice HD remaster, would I replay this? Oh yeah. A absolutely. Even if it was just um, a pretty much straight HD port with achievements. Because to be fair, running on this emulator, it looks pretty nice. It really does. Faze, what's going on? I don't know. You've got to be kidding me. I'm trying, I'm trying. Uh, this is bad. It's no use. There's no power. I've got an idea. Oh, you're kidding. Game, I was kidding about <laughs> earlier when I said about this thing falling to pieces. FaZe? FaZe, what, what do you think you're doing? Or maybe that's a long lost memory. Come on, let's go. Let's go? Would you, what do you mean, let's go? You don't mean... Oh, he does. Yeah, we're going to run up the rail. 
Hurry, I don't know how much longer it'll hold. Y you're serious? Faze, ah, uh, some of us aren't as young as we used to be, you know. Yeah, well, it's that or certain death, so... Oh, so that wasn't Saltus. That's Saltus. What is that? Oh, man. It's Saltus. Alright, this rail isn't going to last much longer. Fina, you go first. Okay. <laughs> yeah, time we weren't here, guys. Seriously. Seriously time we weren't here. Oh, boy. Couldn't we just, like, phone up the Delphinus? Run, go, 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 go. Couldn't we just, like, phone up the Delphinus and say, like, we need immediate extraction? You know, now, really. Ah, uh, chaps, you're not running as quick as I would like you to run. Um, this, this is gonna get worse before it gets better. Oh, man. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing like uh, staring death in the face to act as a pretty healthy motivator, I guess. That was too close. Face this way, hurry. Yeah, that was that was pretty close. Hurry, Faze, get off the rail. Um, Faze! <laughs> oh god. Oof. Uh, that looks really dodgy. I think Vase is gonna need some new trousers. Just saying. What the? Why is the ground shaking? Well down, some bad stuff is going down. Isper, what is the meaning of this? I do not know. The winds are shifting. Something is very, very wrong. Ah, uh, yes. Shrine Island. What the? That's so frickin' cool. And as you can see, Shrine Island used to be part of this, by the look of things. The way it's perfectly nestled in there. Certainly has similar, although aged, architecture. Well, 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 here we are. The beginning of the end. This literally is the start. As you can see, this whole kind of midsection of the map here has um, been changed. Completely changed. So, this is where things get a little bit awkward. 
I think there's only one thing left to do. Let's go down and investigate. At least I'm pretty sure. Actually, I'm going to make a save because although there's a lot of stuff we can't go back and get now, uh, it's not stuff that matters. Not to us anyway, because we've already done all that stuff. So let's put a safety save here when we're out in the blue. Um, how indeed do you stop a man with the power of the gods? Well... So... I think it's time we head in. Now I think this is the final dungeon in the game. In which case... Ooh, maybe not. Maybe we're locked out. Not quite yet. What's wrong? Why did we stop? I remember hearing about a dome of light. Dome of light? Yes, it was an instant, uh, an ancient defense mechanism. It was able to protect Saltus from the Gigas. Galcian is using it to protect himself from us. He really is scared of us, huh? We've got to find a way through it. Yeah, that's bad. <laughs> the Dome of Light is impenetrable. Not even the Delphinus can touch us. Ramirez, I believe the world needs a demonstration of our power. As you wish. Valua could use a little rain. Silver Gigas, Zelios, obey my command. Call forth the reins of destruction from the yellow moon. Oh dear. Literally crumbling pieces of the moon. Is that... No! Oh, that looks really cool. Oh, this is so cool. Ooh. Feels like a storm's brewing. Hey, look. Look at the moon. Is that an eclipse? No, guys. It's something much, much worse. The moon looks rather odd, wouldn't you say? Who cares about the moon? We're late for a party. I simply look ravaging in my new dress. Yeah, well... Your Majesty, perhaps you'd be more comfortable sitting. Elzir, look. Look at the moon. The fool! He's actually gone and done it! Okay, even now, that still looks really good. That's why we can't return back there. It uh, doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, yeah, you're on your own, press. I'm getting out of here. Guards, escort me out of here at once. Oh god, it looks like the Empress is dead. Enrique, hang on. 
Don't worry about me, just go. The Grand Fortress is still standing. We're trapped. Excellent. I have won. Now all shall bow before me. The world is mine. Or is it? Prince Enrique? Ugh. Your Majesty, you're alive. Belzia. Belzia, I, I thank you for saving my life. There's no need to thank me. It's a miracle that either of us are alive. Valia, what happened to Valua? Are the people all right? Belzia? Belzia, what happened? There's nothing left, lad. What? Oh man, like the whole city is gone. No, it can't be. It's not real! Oh, it's very real. Belzia, please tell me that this is all just a bad dream. Prince Enrique, I'm sorry. Yeah, sorry. Tough luck, kid. Literally, millions of people, at least I assume, vaporized. I can't believe they actually used the reins of destruction. Fina. Base. Maybe we should head back to Cres uh, Crescent Island and take a minute to regroup. We can't do anything to get to Saltus right now, anyway. You're right. I really hate to do this, but it looks like we have no choice but to just head home for now. Yeah. Uh. Damn. Kinda tempted to take a sweep over Valua and see what's going on that way. Let's take a little gander. The value is like there's nothing left. Value in ruins. I like how much the world actually changes over the course of this game. Cities being destroyed, well, nations being destroyed, really. Um, it's really interesting. There's so many RPGs that I want to play, especially RPGs that I never got a chance to properly play. Back in the day. Blue Dragon is one that I want to do. That killed three of my Xbox 360s before I gave up playing it. Um, and Lost Odyssey as well, I believe that game was called. The 360 actually had a hell of a lot of decent um, RPGs. I remember Infinite Undiscovery was a good game. And Sudoreki as well on the original... Uh, Xbox. That was a game that I actually played back in the day. That was fun. Yeah, right there, dude. Just recently, other merchant ships have begun trading with the new continent, and Valley was losing control over the trade routes. I also heard there's a uh, dissertation in the Royal Palace, too. Oh, the Royal Palace. The one that's not there anymore? Idiot. I guess this guy doesn't realise what's just happened. Back, the value has just been nuked back to the Stone Age. In fact, pre Stone Age. I guess the world doesn't have to worry about the value in Armada anymore. Because, you know, it. Uh, 
what little is left out there it has no command structure anymore so what are we fighting here okay got some basic stuff I'm hoping we're gonna get Enrique back soon because I love Gilda and he would have been my preferred party member but um, he's obviously like way too under leveled for us now oh dude look at this more of Tartarus let's have a look at the ruins damn that's not the ruins is it no ruins is further this way up over here yeah <laughs> dude it's nothing nothing Oh, there's no city to go back to. Right, well, let's go home. Savage. Now, what we need to be a little bit worried about uh, is the range of destruction come knocking our way. That would be um, uncomfortable, to say the least. Yeah, Lost Odyssey is a game that I always wanted to get into. I've heard very mixed things about it. But maybe we should play that for science. Blue Dragon will be the next RPG we do, though. Baze, I heard something terrible has happened. Hoagie, I'm afraid that Gaussian used the reins of destruction on Valua. What? But what about Enrique? Is, is he... No, he can't be. <laughs> she just faints. Faze, if we don't do something, Gaussian will destroy the world one island at a time. We have to stop him. I know, I know, I'm working on it. How are we supposed to stop him? His base is an entire continent and there's that shield around it. Looks like there's not much we can do except take on Gaussian himself. But we can't even get to him. Damn, there's nothing we can do. Hmm. Oh yes, there is. Ooh! I leave you guys alone for a few days and you and you're ready to surrender. <laughs> Enrique, you're alive. <laughs> Enrique. But she like barely knows him for God's sake. It's all right, I'm okay. I was so worried about you. We were in Valua when the rains hit. Belzea saved me. I owe her my life. My mother and so many others were killed. We can't let this happen again. We must stop Gaussian. Yeah, uh, there really isn't a valuer left, to be honest. <laughs> it's just like a big hole where the city used to be. But how? Lord Gaussian wants to rule the world, not destroy it. Valuer was just an example. Now he's made his example, he can demand an allegiance from all of the other countries. He will send his Amanda to each of the countries as a show of force and will demand that they surrender. He will most likely go with them. You're right. Once he's out of his base, we'll have a shot at him. Faze, I know you aren't too keen on giving up, but we need to be realistic here. There's no way the Delphinus can take out Gaussian's entire fleet. He's right. If you fought him alone, you would lose. But there has to be a way. We can't just give up. Damn it. Hey, boy. What's wrong with you, boy? No matter what happens, I'll never give up. You told me that once. Or have you forgotten already? <gasps> that voice. Boy.
It's been a long time. Good old Drachma. Captain! Soltis is the root of all of our problems. We've got to send that place back to the deep sky, where it belongs. But... But we don't stand a chance against the entire armada. Well, Fina, have you forgotten about me already? Clara! Don't forget, I'm an air pirate too. Can't just sit around here and let Gaussian take over the world. <laughs> He's still eating. That new continent has driven away all the food. Now we don't have any customers. There's more than enough reason for me to fight. Good man. Baze, I heard what's going on. We must fight together for the future of this world. Yeah, your ship is literally held together with duct tape, mate. I don't know, but sure. Hmm, I can't believe I'm doing this. Ah. Bonsor? Don't get the wrong idea. I'm only helping you because I help hate Galcian more than I hate you. As soon as we kick his arse, I'm coming after you. If there's a fight to be fought, then you can count us in. There you go, you saved our country. Now it's time to return the debt of honour. Well, it, kind of everyone's involved with this. It's not just, you know, we saved your country, now you're saving our country. It's kind of like everybody's arsehole is on the line here. <clears throat> we, the Tenko, we will also aid you. Baze, with this many ships, we may just stand a chance against the Armada. Ika, just because we're a little late, don't count us out. Huh? Who else? Ah, of course. Dad. Baze, you've done quite a bit of growing up since I last saw you. If you have this many allies, you must be quite a captain. I'm proud of you, son. Thank you. Alright, Captain. We await your orders. Okay. Bit of a ragtag group, but, um... Hmm. Bit of a ragtag group indeed, but, you know, it's, uh... Not a bad looking fleet, I suppose. We'll let the uh, weaker ships go first, take the brunt of the damage, and then the more powerful ships can uh, try and get a few volleys off. I think that's the best best way. Right, let's show Gaussian what we're made of. Let's send him and Solstice into deep sky forever. Let's show Gaussian what we're made of. Excellent. Tonight, I want everybody to rest up. Tomorrow, we make history. It looks like this is it. I think I'm going to like this. Well, whether you like it or not, something's about to go down. Hopefully, good things. Who could it be at this time of night? It's me, Vase. Belzea, what are you doing up at this time of... Nice. I've come to say goodbye. Goodbye? You're not going to fight with us? I'm afraid not. You can't expect me to fight my own men. And besides, there's something else that I have to take care of. You can't expect me to fight my own men. Uh, it's kind of, you know... Um, there's, there's a little bit at stake here. Something else? That reminds me, I took a peek into Aiko and Fina's rooms earlier. Neither of them were there. Huh? Are you serious? They were probably unable to sleep, you know, the night before a battle. They aren't as tough as they pretend to be. A good captain would find them and comfort them. Ah, alright. I'll go check up on them. 
Ah, I figured you would. Well then, I must be on my way. Goodbye. I know you'll grow to be a great leader, and try not to break too many hearts. Goodbye, Vase. Uh, yeah, well. I guess we'll never know how many hearts Vase broke, because we never got a second game, because the developers are bastards. Well, actually, the developer has expressed many times over the years his interest in the series and bringing it back and rebooting it, but it's out of his hands, unfortunately. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there, guys. Thank you very much for watching. When we come back, we're going to do some pre preparation for the final battle. So, till then, guys. Till then.